In this video, you'll learn how to schedule an automated MariaDB backup job using VinChin Backup and Recovery in three steps. There are some prerequisites that need to be done and checked before we start a backup job. Please carefully read the notice here to avoid any errors. Backup Maria database requires the following operations to be done by DBA, the database administrator. If you want to run MariaDB log backup, Maria database needs binary logging enabled. Let's open and log into the VinChin Backup Server web console. To create a backup job for MariaDB, please go to Physical Backup, Database Backup, Backup page, here's an intuitive wizard to guide you through the job creation process. Step 1. Choose a backup source. All licensed databases will be shown in the list here, you can select the Maria database you want to protect, and click on Next. Step 2. Choose a backup destination. In the Backup Destination section, select Backup Storage to save all the backup files, and click on Next. Step 3. Set up the backup plan in detail. The Backup Strategies section is where you can flexibly schedule the MariaDB backup job with a bunch of features. In the Schedule field, you can choose to configure the job to backup as scheduled or to be a once-off backup. For a once-off backup, you can define a start time for a once-off full backup. If you choose backup as scheduled, incremental backup and log backup will be other two available option besides regular full backup. You can schedule each type of backup to run on a daily, weekly, or monthly basis. It's recommended to combine weekly full backup with daily log backup and incremental backup for high data availability. If you want to set restrictions on the transfer speed of backup, especially when you want to do backups during business hours without affecting the production network too much, you can expand the speed controller field and click on add policy to set a max speed for data transport. For an as scheduled policy, you can define a start time and end time of the policy within a day, week, or month. For a permanent policy, you can simply define a max speed, and once enable it, the transfer speed will always be subject to the policy, no matter when the backup job runs. There are three advanced features that you can see in the data storage policy field, which are data deduplication, data compression, and data encryption. Data deduplication works to exclude duplicated data blocks, and data compression will compress the backup data and then save it into backup storage. Data encryption works to encrypt the backup data inside the backup storage via AES-256 encryption standard. You can also set up a retention policy for the job. If you choose number of restore points as the retention mode, the backup server will only keep a certain number of full restore points. If you choose number of days as the retention mode, then the backup server will save restore points within a specific number of days. Once the retention policy is triggered, data that exceeds the restore point or day limit will automatically be purged for policy compliance. Click on the transmission strategy, you can configure the transport mode of the backup data. Database backups can now only be transferred through LAN, and you can choose to enable encrypted transmission to improve the security level during that process. This feature encrypts the data transmission path to prevent your backups from unauthorized access. Now, you can review all configurations and submit the backup job. VinChin Backup and Recovery will safely protect the target MariaDB database. That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching.